What's up guys, Carlson Stith here. And for this post, I'm going to show you step by step on how to publish a Vue.js project using GitHub Pages. Now GitHub Pages is a service that GitHub provides that allows you to host a project, personal or organization site for your um, a page, a website. Um, it's a static site hosting system that's all totally free. Um, but here's a little bit of a disclaimer. Um, you can only host a static site, so if you have to do any server-side stuff, like host a database, um, then I would suggest using something like Firebase, Heroku, or MongoDB Atlas. But um, enough of the introduction. Let's get down here to business for and do what you came here for. So let's create a, uh, let's go to the terminal. And we're going to cd into a um, into the directory that you want to create your um, new site in. And type view, create, um, and then call this another website. And we're going to go through all the um, default configurations here. Uh, so once that is completed, um, you should see your site here. So come on into your GitHub, and if you don't already have a GitHub repo, um, you can at me at Twitter, and I can let you know how to create a new repository. But just create a new repo, and we're gonna call it the same name as our, um, our GitHub, as our sorry, our new project. So we're gonna call this another website. Repository. And our repository should be created. And we're still waiting on you to create our new project. <coughs> so once that project has been created, we're going to create a new branch. We're going to call this branch GH pages. First, let's make sure our project is created correctly. So we can see what our project here is. Starts from the ECLI, this can start up our project. Type local host 8080 in the new tag, and voila, here's our new project. Congratulations! So, I'm gonna stop that right now. We're gonna create a new branch. So, type git checkout dash d dash b for branch. I'm gonna call this branch, I say gh dash pages. So that switches us to a new branch that we just created. Um, now we're going to create a new file called a um, view.config.js file. And what this file does is tells you where to find our site, the public path, where to find our site. And so um, type touch. Go down here to your text editor. <clears throat> I'm using Adam, by the way. And type in module.exports. Type in the public path here. Our public path is the name of our website. So it's another website. Save that file. Now go into your .git ignore because this dist file is what GitHub uses to serve your, your file up here. So just comment that out. And we're going to go back into the terminal. And we're going to run npm run build to create this dist folder. Once that's done, you should have a newly created this folder. And we're going to type git add dist and I'm going to commit the file as well. Git commit dash n. You know, 
comment in here. We will say initial. Let's see it. Initial. Next, we're going to push our files up. So we type git subtree push dash dash matrix list origin gh dash pages. And this should push our GitHub pages branch up to our repository. So go back to your GitHub page and refresh the page, and you should see all of your files here. So, next step is to go over to the settings. Okay, go down to the GitHub Pages header and select the source. Um, if this isn't already selected, select your GitHub Pages branch as the source for your repo, and your file should be available here. And if all of this works, then you are golden. You just created your first static website using GitHub Pages. Your repo should be published. Um, if it doesn't publish immediately, give it about eight to 10 minutes. Um, patience is a virtue, so that's in all things development. So um, If, it, if you have any questions regarding any step in this, give me a shout out on Twitter. Or just hit me up in general, um, at Carlton Stiff. But um, if everything went well, then you should be golden. So until next time, guys, peace out.